Happy Friday, everybody, to the NASDAQ composite. Testing that 50-day moving average. We had four up days. The July 4th holiday week, four trading days is all we had. And now we've tested it. And we're going into earnings with the financials next week. Then after that, the week after, well, all of these companies are going to have to give guidance and the volatility will get much bigger. We've had the test of the 50-day simple moving average. First time in months that we've even gotten close to it. But the 50-day has been declining and going down with the four-day up move. So what we'll be looking at is if we gap up above that 50 day does that bring the buyers in for the bulls and continue another rally on monday i can tell you up front everybody that this nasdaq composite volatility is going to get bigger than what we have seen it and we have seen horrendous volatile days but i'm telling you by looking at the tape that it says that that market drawdown after every rally, it fails. Now, it doesn't matter. Looky here. You have three up days and you made a lower low. Okay? So all of these little rallies have faded. Now, this one, is it different? We have to deal with corporate earnings. That's going to be resistance. If they gap that up here, that's going to be filling in. And we're almost there, filling in where that gap was. So that's the trend line, everybody. Stay tuned. And the earnings season is coming. The volatility is going to be big. If I were you, I would join the free five-day trial. Okay? Because there's going to be a lot of stocks that get hit. And they're going to get hit. They've already been hit, but they're even going to get hit harder. And the manipulation, every time they manipulate the tape, Believe me, it will reconcile itself, okay? And these little short-term, light-volume, little bear market rallies that give it up, they've done it all year. They've done it all year. We had a rally here. It went there to resistance. You had four days up. It consolidated, broke down, made new lower lows, okay? That was a doji. We're at the 50. If we get above it... That's going to be really good for the bulls. And then we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get up here to 12000 again, where the breakdown was. But I will tell you, forward-looking, in the month of July, I see tremendous volatility. 